Okay, so we've got another little fabrication video for everyone today. This is Matt Davidson's EF Civic drag car. It's uh, Europe's quickest single cam now. Yeah, Europe's fastest single cam quarter mile car. And uh, Matt's aiming to keep that record this year. So lovely sponsorship from Gary. We've got a whole new turbo. This is what, a GT? 45, no, G45. G45 1350. G45 1350. So that's about the size of your nan's typical dinner plate. She puts your Sunday roast on. So yeah, my job today is we're going to make a new manifold for it. We've got uh, a Turbo Smart straight gate to complement the boost control side of things. Um, quite a hefty unit. These the first one I've really held one in my hand might prove to make packaging a bit awkward but we'll try and work our way around that so let me bring you in let me bring you in so we're going with a front mounted turbo setup now the turbo is solidly mounted to the traction bar already using a one of these rather trick i'm not sure if you can see it but it's, um, I'll pop, in fact, I'll pop a picture up on the, the screen now of what it is. It's like a, a brace which bolts to the oil drain of the turbo, and that gives you two platforms to then weld tube to, to weld tube to, to then make sure the turbo doesn't move around. Bit of kit. Does pose one little issue, which I thought, which we might encounter, is although the engine is on solid engine mount, so obviously the engine is going to move as minimal as possible. There might be some sort of movement difference in between the engine and the turbo when making a pass, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there if we come to any sort of failures. Hopefully not. We don't, obviously, we don't want shit to fail. Uh, but yeah, we're going for a front mount manifold. I've never really made this style of manifold before. We've come prepared. I've already made the collector um because the collector will take about as much time as to mop up the manifold and uh, we've got some two and a half inch schedule 10 45 elbow and my plan is we're going to use that like so and then we'll put our collector in there and then we'll tie in the wastegate so we've got some wastegate priority um up in this position um again we'll finalize that when we get there and then we need to leave enough room we need to leave enough room at the back here so we can get a four inch down pipe underneath the manifold and up through that hole in the bonnet matt's gonna do that we're just gonna do with the manifold side of things so yeah we're gonna put a, a square cut on this elbow here so uh, at the minute it's pointing the collector down with the touch and I kind of want to have the collector sort of in that position there and then uh, we'll start to mock up the primaries so yeah let's cut this and then we can get that at least tacked up to the flange and then we can start to then cut the collector down hold the collector to that and once we've got to that stage, we can start to mock up the primaries from each cylinder. Okay, so that's what we've come up with. A collector, two and a half inch schedule into inch and a half inch schedules. Obviously, I do need to obviously weld it and stuff, but that now gives us some. Well, gives us a something to work with now anyway, so we can start to mock up the primaries. Okay, so that's the collector on the turbo. We've just put the rather huge, vibrant intercooler core roughly in the position that it's going to go in. And that's so we can make sure, obviously, we do our best to dodge the intercooler with the manifold that we're going to make. So we've clocked this around a bit, which has kind of messed this angle up. But honestly, I think that's going to be to our benefit. So we'll keep it at this 
bit of a weird angle. And then we're going to do cylinder one to start with. We're not going for equal length. It's a drag car. We're not bothered about torque curves and all that bollocks because how much power do you want? Yes. So looking about there, look, we're two 90s and a 45. We're about there. So what I'm probably going to do is cylinder one to this on the collector, cylinder two over to this front section, and then we'll tie in these so there's three and four to the underside of the collector. Again, we're going bonnet exit, so it's going to sound fucking rowdy anyway. Uh, but yeah, I think we're about near enough on the money there. So let's cut some tube on some pipe and then uh, we'll get this cylinder one mopped up. sometime later and we we'll ended up making a fixture because it was just too damn awkward to do this on the car but we've got the primary for cylinder one all mocked up we've got our turbo in the position where it is so obviously now we've made the fixture we don't need to keep going back and forth between the car to mop stuff up but we do need to do the wastegate and uh, it's kind of a, a big bugger it's a turbo smart straight gate 50 and that's some uh, two and a half inch schedule 10 to give you the size or the idea of the size it is bloody huge so job is now is to cope this into the collector and um, put a bit of an angle on there to try and make it as uh, a wastegate priority as possible so what I need to do now is the, the tedious task of shaping this so it fits. Okay, so I sent Matty home because it got quite late. Um, yeah, and here we are with the manifold. Now we've got our positions for the collector and the head flange, and obviously we've also got the the fixture as well. It's going to allow me to finish the turbo manifold without needing the car here. We've got the wastegate merge all coped in there. I've tried to make it as wastegate priority as possible, but it is a massive 50 mil wastegate, so boost creep shouldn't really be an issue here. Uh, run out of room, really. It's the best position we are going to get for the wastegate without welding the wastegate directly to the exhaust housing. So now I'm going to take my sweet ass time and uh, I'm going to spend all afternoon and get the rest of these primaries all mocked up. Okay, so that's the manifold all tacked up, looking pretty smart. Obviously it'll look sort of like that when it's on the car. We've also uh, drilled out the wastegate dump, uh, a whopping 55mm inside there. And I've just spent about an hour with a carbide, just sort of smoothing all that, um, the transition out. Obviously I still need to weld that onto the collector. But yeah, now we've got to this point, we've got all the primaries done. I'm uh, going to break it apart and start to weld it. And uh, what I wanted to do, obviously this manifold is going to be on the car, which is, you know, aiming for, I'm guessing eventually, four figures worth of power. So what I've done is, obviously two of the primaries, we've only got two weldments. So this is cylinder four, obviously it's got one weld there, one weld there, and that primary. On cylinder three, same again, one weld, one weld. And on cylinder three, two, three, whatever, this cylinder, one, two, three welds, and on the very first one we did, one, two, three welds. So 
that's minimal amount of weldments so that means less failure points in theory now i have beveled this and we are going to purge it as you can see we have made the primaries longer than they need to be so obviously to account for any weld shrinkage and uh, at that point it's easier to spend 10 minutes of inertia just slowly shaving away material so we get a nice tight fit on the collector so yeah let's break this apart let's get it welded Okay, so there we go. We have got one forward facing manifold for Matt Davidson's drag car with a G45 1350 turbo, 50mm external wastegate, turbo smart electronic E gate. So, yes, it took me uh, a couple of days in between jobs. Uh, I am doing this manifold as a bit of a pay it forward sponsorship type thing. Uh, Matty doesn't know that at this point, but I'm not going to charge him for this uh, because I support Matty and what he does. So again, I'm going to pay it forward by producing this for free for him. Uh, but yeah, let's just go over what we've done. So we've uh, obviously forward facing manifold into a collector here. Got a massive 50 mil uh, Turbo Smart electronic E gate on there. And on the wastegate as well is we've just welded some saddles on there to sort of tie the wastegate tube into everything else. And they've also got like a little plate underneath there as well. Now the E gate weighs a fair bit and these extra saddles on there are going to allow uh, or give the manifold a better chance of fatigue through weight. Um, I did want to put a saddle on the bottom here, but we've got a port here for a exhaust pressure sensor, which is uh, pretty important in drag racing. And then one of the things as well is Matt was worried about clearance for the, the downpipe. So what we've done is cylinder one, or cylinder four actually, we've come straight over and that's going to give Matty loads of room for his four inch dump tube. And then we've got individual EGTs in the manifold we were originally going to put them underneath as you can see with the marks there but uh, after a bit of reading it turns out that ideally they need to be within 15 degrees of horizontal either way so that's our compromise is to put them at roughly a 45 degree angle on the top and uh, that means we're going to be able to access the bolts for the studs to bolt this to the engine uh, while also having EGTs in situ. So yeah, 
really happy with how it's come out. Uh, not done a custom job like this in some time. In fact, the, ne the next time we do some custom work is going to be on the shuttle here. Um, so yeah, nice change of pace. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, this manifold helps Matty achieve his goal this year of uh, going into the eights, which will be awesome to see from a single jingle. So yeah, if I've got some footage of the manifold on the engine to put in, I will overlay it now. Um, if I haven't got that footage, there'll be no footage and there'll be some pictures and stuff on the, the Facebook page and the Instagram page in due course. So yeah, if you like to see fabrication content like this, drop a comment down below. What do you want to see me make? Um, any requests, we'll have a look and we'll see what we can do for you. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.